How's it going? And welcome back to Geometry Dash. Today, we're gonna go and take a trip down memory lane. Not really for myself, but just for the game in general. We're gonna be playing some Nine Circles levels, which I believe are just 1.9 Nine Circles levels. There are a few of the ones, a few of the really popular ones that I never got around to finishing, that I always meant to come back and do at some point, but they're, they're pretty ancient at this point. It's like a fossil in Geometry Dash's lifetime, all right? So the ones we're gonna be doing, they're all rated Medium Demon. It's figures, fear me, and solar circles. They're all, I made sure they're all different colors. So, you know, we get a little bit of a mix, right? So figures and fear me, I believe are very early nine circles levels. I'm pretty sure they were 1.9. Solar circles, I'm not too sure about. I think this might've come out in 2.0, although I'm not really sure. I mean, we can check the level ID. It says 109. I'm pretty sure that's, that's 1.9. This one's 770, which is even before that. Okay. And then figures is even before that because it's 689, right? It's only seven digits. So 0689. All right. So basically figures came out first, then fear me, then solar circles. Um, and solar circles might have come out in 2.0. Well, why don't we just do these in order then of when they were released? So Figures by Glitter Shroom is, yeah, this one came out first. I have practiced up on it. Glitter Shroom. That is a name that was very popular back in the day. Okay, I'm just gonna go on a whim and say the hardest part of this level is the very beginning. Oh man, this beginning part. Actually, I'm not even gonna hit that jump ring. <laughs> not even gonna hit this, just gonna go up. Yeah, that's the that's the best way to do it. This is easily just the hardest part of the level, right here. Come on. Yeah, focus. Straight, straight fly! There we go. Piece of cake. Now, can I remember this part? God, that's easy. Just don't press buttons, Eric. You can wait. That's oh, so hard. Why is it hard? Okay, go down and up there. No! You hit the jump ring there, you idiot! It looks confusing, huh? Actually, it doesn't even look that confusing. It looks easy when you look at it, this beginning part. You're like, oh, that? I can do that. But then you go to actually do it, and you're like, huh? That's how it works? The hardest part for me. It's always the beginning and the end. Okay, go down. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Uh, ah. <laughs> the sound effects help me, I swear to God. Oh, can I remember this? Oh my God, you just jump there. Oh, the invisible weird platforms in nine circles levels where like you, sometimes you got to hold down the button so you don't accidentally hit the jump ring at the platform you're all going to. And there's all these tricks, man. Okay, go! Yeah, here we go, here we go. We're gonna do it this time. You gotta hold down the button. I just wanna let go of the button and push it later. Is that so hard to ask? Yeah, okay, we're flying. Don't mess up here now. Oh, it doesn't start off at three times, which is kind of nice. Let's fluke it. Let's fluke it, come on. God damn, that drop sounds like a giant fart. It's like, and I just did it. I just dropped the biggest, smelliest fart ever by dying like that. That was such a fail. Oh my god, it's so hard to see where you're going in that mess. Because there's no indicators, it's just like, nine circles pattern. Like, the whole way. There's no, like, little shapes, usually, that you can tell. It's just like... <laughs> Silly! How, how'd that kill me? You know, normally I like the piano. The piano's a beautiful instrument. But this... Hearing this over and over again is torture. <laughs> How does that hit you to all that spike? What are you supposed to do? What? I was wiggling in a wave and I must have just barely hit that. Oh, perfect. Because this, this is something else. This is something else, ladies and gents! I went the wrong way there, wow. That's such a piece of poo, that part! Just 
Jeez Louise, man. Anticipated is all I'm gonna say. Whoa, figures my glitter shroom, but I knew it as soon as we got past the first half. I knew we'd do it. Man, that ball section it killed me so many times. Is that 144 it's like the, the different pink jump pad timing or something? It's gotta be, because that was ridiculous, all right? It was a little ridiculous. It was still fun though. I still like the wave parts. The wave parts were great. That ball part medium demon because of the ball part so this will be 543 attempts which like honestly like three to four hundred of these were from way back in the day uh like when these levels were really popular right i'm glad we did it it's a nine circles level i've always wanted to do um i've always wanted to complete like all the classic nine circles levels all the classic rated nine circles levels and there's still like a few you know on the list to do like astronaut 13 and stuff that we're not going to do today some of the harder ones but i feel like we've done most of them at this point i mean after this video we'll have done most of them the next one on the list is fear me by crispy dash which is a blue nine circles level which has a lot of invisible stuff at the beginning the beginning's kind of weird too and also in the wave part there are some parts where you got to let go like you there are some tricky-ish bits. Most of it's easy, but there's some tricky-ish bits. I don't know. Let's see if I can remember the beginning part. Okay, jump, fall, and late there, and then jump. Yeah, I can remember the beginning here. Okay. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. I think the overall, like, the ship is easier than, uh, figures. I'm pretty sure. Ouch. The ship is. Um, it's just a matter of, like, figuring it out, I think. Took me a little bit. Because of, like, all the invisible stuff. I could have just watched a video, but what's the fun in that, right? See, so wait, and then you press a button when you go through, and press a button when you go through. Yeah, I got it. Oh my god, I forget about this. Jump, and jump, and jump. Whoa, no, no, wow. Oh, I remember why I didn't do this back in the day. Because this part confused the heck out of me. There's a bunch of, like, jump pads that normally would just bounce you up, but there's a bunch of invisible spots. You gotta go up, like, on three jump pads, like, one, two, three, and then you jump. And hit like a jump orb and like back in the day when I was 60 Hertz and I was like new to the game I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I was like Pfft. My mind just exploded into smithereens trying to figure that shit out But now now that I have experience time to tackle this again time to get my revenge We haven't even made it to the drop yet. I don't know if this is embarrassing or maybe I just gotta go practice it again I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a bad job remembering what to do here. Okay, hold down the button. Yeah, and jump, and jump, and then up to the top, and then boom! Well, oh, we're nailed it, nailed it, okay. Nice. Oh! I can't... Huh? So you notice this part right here, like, if you land, and then fall, like, on the, uh, on the jump pad, you die. So you need to, like, press them a little bit late, so you jump up, and don't, like, fall down onto the jump pads. There's a lot of, like, little tiny things. Wow. A lot of little tiny things in this level like that at the beginning. The thing about this level is the portals are lined up really weird. See, notice how, like, the portal's not, like, tilted to on top of you. You need to actually be, like, far over to the right when you go up there. Otherwise, you can hit the portal too late. It's really weird how you gotta, like, line yourself up with some of these portals. The portals seem kind of weird in this level. Oh, and there's parts like that. I remember why this level infuriated me. There's parts where there's that nine circles pattern in the background, and there's random invisible parts that you can't even see that kill you, but it looks like it's wide open. Like, it's not like when it's invisible parts in a diamond where you're like, okay, I can kind of see where you can go in, right? This is like nothing. It's just like, pfft, you just like die in the middle of nowhere. Like this part right here, you gotta go so far down. Like, watch this. If I go up here and try to go up, you just died to nothing. It's really nice, but it's just those couple parts with, like, the invisible parts that's really hard to gauge, like, where you are. It is, it's kind of annoying, right? 
Uh, anyways, but yeah, the rest of the level's great. I, I think this level overall is it's a fantastic level. It's just the there's like three kind of annoying parts in the wave you gotta really be aware of. Oh, see, look at that. I was too far over to the left. Like, the portal is so over to the right. It doesn't even, like, cover the hole that you go up to. You need to be so far over. No! I knew I was going to die to that invisible BS. Down. Yes. No! In the <laughs> oh, that part is another janky part I forgot to mention. So, basically, if you're too far up in the small uh, section when you're going slow, you can actually hit the three times speed when you're coming down instead of when you go up. So you hit the three times early and it just crushes you. It just kills you immediately. You have to be, like, hugging the left wall so you don't accidentally hit it early. What? I missed the portal! <laughs> you're supposed to hold down the button because you don't fall down into the portal. If you fall down into the portal, you die. You're supposed to hold the button into the portal and you fly up. You're supposed to jump there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we did it! This took me like the same amount of time as the first one took. Figures by Glitter Shroom, what do you know? About the same. Uh, Fear Me by Crispy Dash, I think the wave it flows really well together. I, I like the way it flows. There's just a couple little portal placements that I think <laughs> could be tweaked to make it a better experience. But other than that, yeah, I thought the wave part flowed really well. Give it a thumbs up. It's about a medium demon by today's standards. Um, 845 attempts, so many of those were from a long time ago. Very long time ago, when I wanted to complete, like I said before, when I wanted to complete all these nine circles levels. So the last one we're going to be doing is Solar Circles. Solar Circles is by Starbucks King. This is the most recent one, even though it says ID10. It's not really recent by any stretch of the meaning, but, you know. I think uh, this one has kind of a tricky beginning, but I think the wave is the easiest on this one. But I might just be misremembering it. I don't know. Let's go. That's kind of a weird spot to jump right there and hold... Press, press, hold, hold. No, no, you gotta press on that last one. So there's a lot of times here where, like, the presses or the holds are very important. Like, there's so many of them. It's press, press, hold, press. There's so many of them. Hold. And then what? Oh, I didn't hold long enough. Damn, you gotta jump there. So, hold. And then jump there. That's pretty simple once you get it, though. Like, it looks pretty tricky because there's, like, so much stuff. But I think this has the easiest beginning. <laughs> I went the wrong way, okay. I think this has the easiest beginning out of all the ones that we played today. Down. Can I remember this? Yeah. Up, down, up. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, nice. I like that sink. Yeah, this is the easiest beginning for sure. How about the wave though? Can I remember how to do the wave? Ooh, man. I like the wave gameplay. I, lo I like the wave gameplay on this level. This wave is nice. I love the beginning of this level, it's so good. Oops. <laughs> God. I like the beginning of this level. It's like, this is how you do, like, an old Nine Circles style beginning. Is you have a lot of fakes, 
Like, you have jump rings that you could hit to die. There's a lot of, like, figuring it out to do. But it just, like, flows so well. Like, look, there's so many fakes there. But, like, once you get it, like, it just, like... The point that you think you're supposed to press the button at is the point you press the button at. You're like, oh, no, that feels... That feels natural. And, like, mmm. It's great. Here as well. And then you go down, you miss the... Oh, man, it flows so well. Wow. I was starting to get, like, pretty jaded on old nine circles levels because the last two levels I was like, oh, and they were frustrating me so hard. Well, this is, this is really good. And if you do want to have an old nine circles experience, I recommend this level wholeheartedly. I didn't even know about this level, actually. Someone on stream mentioned that it existed. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad that person recommended it to me, so. I'm glad we play in this level, yeah. First time after practice. Beautiful! God, that's fun. That is such a fun circles level. I'll take my 10 stars. Heck yeah. Solo circles by Starbucks King. <laughs> Does Starbucks King drink a lot of coffee or something? I don't know about that. But any- Wow, wow. That is fun. Best nine circles level I played. Yeah, it's one of that, that gameplay. The gameplay in Solar Circles is great, even though it's like 1.9 style deco, still with like the little solar suns everywhere. It really brightened up like otherwise dull areas. Solar Circles is one of the best old nine circles levels that I had never played. I'm so happy that we end up playing this. Yeah, it's on point. Gameplay's on point. Looks amazing for its time. You guys should go and play it. But all these levels were still good. Like Figures and Fear Me still enjoyed figures and fear me were more like og like really og levels uh, nine circles levels um but they just like kind of lacked a little bit of fine tuning that solar circles has right they're still good levels though don't get me wrong still good levels just a little more frustrating because of some little parts anyways i hope you enjoyed this video we did three nine circles levels i was kind of in a nine circles mood and so i decided to play a few of the levels that i hadn't tried before i would love to eventually cross off all the nine circles levels off my list uh well not all some of them are a little difficult like sonic wave or uh what's the other one called down base they're a little hard for me a little outside my skill range uh but yeah these were uh it was fun to play these i'd like to come back and do uh, you know, a couple of the harder ones, Head Rush, uh, Astronaut 13, at some point I'd like to come get to them, right? Remember to leave a thumbs up for my troubles, I'll see you in the next one, and as always, peace.